Hey everybody and welcome to Tech Only. Today we're going to go over the 5 most popular e-bikes. Make sure to watch until number 1 because it's one of the most amazing e-bikes I ever saw. So this is Fido M1 Pro, and it is an upgraded version of the original M1. With fat tires, it's outstanding off-road electric bike that has been specially designed to be used in various scenes such as snow, fields, beaches, and all kind of difficult terrain. It weighs approximately 55 pounds or 25 kilos without the battery and about 70 pounds or 32 kilos with the battery. The maximum load weight of the M1 Pro is 120 kilos or 265 pounds, so for most people there is no problem with riding this electric bicycle. What could be better is probably the suspension. It just feels cheap and it is too stiff, but this is not the most expensive e-bike, so for the price it's not so bad. The folded size of the M1 Pro is only 79 by 96 centimeters or 31 by 37.7 inches, so you would not have any issue putting it in your car trunk. The tires are 4 inches wide and it has the same 20 inch rims. With a 12.8 amp hour battery, it can give you about 80 miles or 130 kilometers of range, but keep in mind that that is under ideal conditions. Now a lot depends on your weight also as a road too. So I would say with mode one assistance and minor hills, you would probably get about 40 to 50 miles or 65 to 80 kilometers of range. And with 500 watts electric motor, you will have a maximum speed of 25 miles per hour or about 40 kilometers per hour. Override and a higher top speed is also possible, according to some YouTube videos. Right now, it cost $1,299. And this is Level 2, a flagship from Aventon Commuter e-bike. And this one is extraordinary. It will provide you with a ride that you will genuinely enjoy. With the help of the pedals, you can reach 28 miles per hour or 45 kilometers per hour. And even without pedaling, you can still move at speed of up to 20 miles per hour. So why Level 2 is such a great bike? I will start from suspension. A front suspension fork with up to 65 millimeters of travel will provide you with comfort anywhere you go. And it is adjustable, so you can set your own preferences. It is powered by 500 watts motor and in combination with a torque sensor, it will provide you with electric assistance exactly by how much you want it. So it basically works in a way that if you pedal slowly, you will get less assistance. But if you start to pedal faster, the motor will give you more assistance. In my opinion, it is just how it's supposed to be. The battery is 48 volts, 14 amp hours, and it has a maximum range of 60 miles or 96 kilometers with pedal assist and about 30 miles or 48 kilometers with no pedaling. Keep in mind that this range is on flat terrain and with a 165 pounds driver, it needs four to five hours to fully charge. Level two comes in two sizes to suit most adults. More information you can get from the Aventon official site. Meet Fido X, an eye-catcher with a minimalist vibe. It really stands out from the common e-bikes. To remove the battery, you must insert the code, so it makes it harder for thieves to steal it. And the battery is under a seat, which is very innovative, and I must admit that they thought out of the box when creating this design. It is 417.6 watt-hours, and it takes seven hours to charge. Now, there are two versions, the US and Europe versions. The US version has 350 watts motor and because of the regulations in the EU, version for the Europe has only 250 watts motor. The maximum speed for the US version is 19.2 miles per hour or 32 kilometers per hour. And for the Europe version is 15.5 miles or 25 kilometers per hour. Now the claimed range is 68 and 80 miles, but to be honest, you would hardly get that range. The great thing about this bike is how easy is foldable. In a few seconds, you can fold it and push it. No need to carry it. This bike also has a torque sensor that measures if and how hard you are pedaling. So no need to worry about the throttle. It does not have any suspension, which makes it lighter and longer lasting. It cost $1,799 and you can check Fido official site for more details. And this 
is Cyrusher XF800 Full Terrain Fat Tire Electric Bike. It's coming with a high-performance 750 watts brushless motor. With a maximum speed of 28 miles per hour or 45 kilometers per hour, you will really enjoy the ride. The front suspension fork is with a bump, absorbing 80 millimeters of travel with preload adjustment and lockout. Plus rear suspension and widened saddle absorb external impact by 65%. The range is from 28 to 45 miles depending on terrain and other conditions. The battery is easily removable, which is great if you need to carry it inside for charging. It's 48 volts, 13 amp hours, and it will keep 80% of capacity after 1,000 charges. It's really one of the best fat tire e-bikes that are up to $2,000. With an aluminum frame, full suspension, and fat tires, you are really getting a lot of the bike for the price. You can get it in four colors blue, red, green, and white. I like that they gave more colors because you have more options to choose from and the way they color the hub and the wheels. So they did a really good job on the styling for this model. Another great thing is that the whole bike is IP65 waterproof, including the battery. You can check more details at the link in the description. The price for this bike at this moment is $2,000. It would be phenomenal if you would subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any more videos. So how to start with this one? Dual batteries, dual motors, actually see for yourself. <laughs> This is Aerial Rider Grizzly. With dual motors, dual batteries, and dual suspension, it can hardly be beaten by any electric bike. It is made so that you can really enjoy the ride. And in some moments, you can even forget that you are actually riding the bike. So why I'm saying that? It's because there are so many options to choose how you want to ride it. You can choose if you want to use only front wheel drive, only rear wheel, or all wheel drive for maximum performance. So one battery is 20 and the other one is 15 amp hours, making it an astonishing 35 amp hours battery altogether. And there are two 1000 watts brushless custom Beifang hub motors, which give it a maximum speed of 33 miles per hour or 53 kilometers per hour. But it's not only the maximum speed that is amazing, but the acceleration also. I must remind you that is important for you to check your state county and local laws to ensure that you are riding legally and safely. The range is from 35 to 75 miles. And of course, it depends on how you drive it since you have so many options. Like I said before, you can drive it with only one motor, with dual motors and with or without pedal assist. Personally, I think that once when you try it with the throttle only, you will rarely use pedal assist. It's just so much fun to drive it with a throttle. It has one of the best suspensions and the seat is changeable because there is the optional long saddle that is large enough to accommodate two riders. The current price is $3,299 and more information you can find on Aerial Rider official site. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Check out this playlist of my top 10 videos and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.